It is D-Day. I am traveling to Sydney tonight. I can't believe it. I'm in another country in another hemisphere tomorrow. I am, I'm flying to Sydney tonight, staying overnight, and then catching the international flight tomorrow morning to Incheon. Sydney to Incheon. Staying in Incheon overnight, tomorrow night, and then I will be in Seoul the next day. Incredible, I'm very excited. Come along with me on the journey. I have never vlogged before, so wish me luck. It has most certainly been a day. It has been a day. It has been a day and a half of being a day. <sighs> Yesterday, no, the day before, the 17th, it is now the 19th, there are two or three or who knows what time it is. It's in the morning, early in the morning of the 19th. I have not slept since 6 a.m. on the 18th when everything was going fine. And then I got the little text message saying that my flight had been delayed. Then I got to the airport and my flight was delayed again. And then I was told that it might be canceled which doesn't work because there are only two, three flights a week and the next one would have been Sunday. Anyway, there are no updates, no updates for like two hours and then it gets delayed again. And we get told like half an hour bef after everything updates, we're actually finally told for real. And then we wait, nothing gets told and then we're suddenly boarding. Anyway, we are now in South Korea. I cannot believe it. I am in a hotel in Incheon, which is a whole nother thing. I was got I checked. I went through immigration. Uh, yeah, went through immigration at like one a.m. I think twelve a.m. twelve thirty a.m. one a.m. No other planes. No other flights. Just us. We we're the last flight of the day, of course, because no one else lands at twelve thirty a.m. Um, anyway, that went really smoothly. Went so smoothly, actually. Immigration was smooth and then i decided i needed to find an atm and the atm did not work with the card luckily i had a second card and it worked with the second card but that was not my plan so not great uh and then i needed to find a t-money card which is the transportation card couldn't find one then find out it was in the basement went to the basement of course this is like this it's dead quiet it is dead quiet in this airport there are like a few people around there guards around dead quiet I then walk, I keep walking because I'm delirious at this point in time because I haven't slept and I'm like exhausted and I'm still exhausted because I also haven't slept, if you can't tell. Um, and I keep walking, I keep walking, I keep walking, I keep walking. Where are the T-Money? Because I know there are supposed to be like vending machines of T-Money cards. Nowhere, nowhere, there, nowhere. I see one off in the distance. It is off in the distance. I'm saved. I found the T-Money card. I can go home. I can pay for a taxi. The vending machine is closed. Who would have thought that a vending machine closes? Like, I guess they can serve power. I guess it doesn't make sense. But anyway, so I walked all the distance for no reason. And then I walked all the way back. Somewhere I didn't get lost. Pretty remarkable. And then I finally got to the taxi. All this time, I was supposed to be trying to speak it a little bit in Korean. Um, my brain was doing it. I was not doing it. I was, I was not communicating. <laughs> anyway, fortunately, there was a lovely lady at the taxi stand who, like, wrote down my address for me in Korean. And we dealt with it with a taxi driver. The taxi driver was very confused. Extremely confused. Because I didn't actually, I got a T-Money card in the end, except it wasn't a T-Money card. It was a cash fee card. The one that is considerably less common. And the taxi driver had no idea what it was. He was deeply confused. I have never paid in a taxi before. I had no idea where to pay. Because it's like, the driver taps your card, I assumed. Anyway, I managed to pay for the taxi. I got out at my hotel. It's in this dark alley. The guy at the front is just literally waiting for me because I'm the only person checking in at like 1.30 a.m. in the morning. Uh, he literally has my little check-in thing ready for me when I walk in. No ID needed. Uh, and then I get into the room and it smells like cigarettes. But of course it is 2 a.m. in the morning, so I can do nothing about that. Uh, did not realize it was a smoking hotel. Uh, it says in Booking.com that it's no smoking. Great stuff. And there's, yeah, it's not exactly the best hotel room in the world. Uh, it is definitely not clean but anyway, I have a bed. I have a shower. As you can tell, I have showered. I don't look like a drone. Well, I do look droned, but I don't look like a quite look like a drone rat anymore. I looked awful. I just, I, long plane rides do not mix well with me. Anyway, 
We are here. My SIM card works. My SIM card works. Uh, we're looking up. I think things are looking up. I'm gonna have a total of mm, five hours sleep tomorrow, today. Yay. <laughs> anyway, uh, see you in a, in, in a day, I suppose. Um, we can really only go up from here, I think. I think this is a good sign. It's gonna be a Rickrollin' adventure. I've been Rickrolled by Jetstar. Let's hope I don't get Rickrolled again. I am uh, catching my Airx at um, 10 o'clock. And now I just gotta find myself some breakfast and some snacks. And then I'll be ready to go. <laughs> Find some amazing snacks. I'm very excited by them. The, uh, the infamous ice, and I got the peach, um, and cream bun, which is my breakfast. Some iced tea, which will be for the train, and garlic bread chips. I think they're chips. Uh, or some kind of like toast. Very exciting. That's my most exciting purchase. And some chocolate. Because it's me. Of course, I'm gonna buy chocolate. Uh, anyway, I'm just waiting for the express train there. And um, it's time to do a little bit of ASMR. Ready. That's so exciting. Oh, uh, that's really exciting. Like, isn't that just nice to have, like, music everywhere? It's random. I'm sure I get annoying, but... I don't know. I am a little dehydrated, so this is very exciting. Maybe I'll just do it right now. Cream milk. I'm not loving it, but it's not bad. The bread's good. The cream custard tastes weird. A little weird. But I mean, the eggs here are probably good for themselves. Hmm, I hate it. Anyway. Hotel number three. I am now in Myeongdong uh, for nine days, nine nights. And boy, am I exhausted. It has been an incredibly long day. And yesterday was also an incredibly long day. And I've had like four sleep between getting to the hotel yesterday and waking up this morning. Anyway, um, yeah, a bit tired, but. Today was, today was really cool. I checked out of the Incheon Hotel and then um, trained back to the Incheon International Airport and finally got myself some money art at an ATM and my T-Money card, which is stuff I couldn't do yesterday. Uh, yeah, yesterday because of the flight being delayed. So I managed to do that, which is good. Uh, then caught the express to Seoul Station and my entire plan, because I was um, getting to Hybe Insight for the proof exhibition at 11.40, my plan was to put my luggage in a locker. Unfortunately, the lockers at Seoul were full. So I then traveled to Yongsan, hoping that there would be lockers there too. And um, there weren't. <laughs> no lockers that would fit my luggage. But I had no other choice, so I made my luggage fit. I don't know how I did. I Pythagoras, Pythagorean the theoremed that uh, locker to fit my luggage. And we're here 
we, we got there. However, I then rocked up to Hybe and discovered that they had lockers. That's a whole, whole other thing. Anyway, Hybe was great. Hybe, Hybe was, Hybe was really cool. Uh, it's a shame I couldn't take any photos. They had like really big restrictions on taking photos. That's okay. Um, it was there for the experience. And just there were like a lot of um, behind the scenes content that I don't think is public, which is probably why there's no photos taking. So a lot of like their photo shoots, there was a lot of slightly more dressed down um, BTS shots. Ha, pun intended. BTS shots of um, like, their photo shoots or their music videos or performing and a few of their outfits costumes so that was really cool just seeing it all and and being there um and i got a few things uh this is a massive bag for the things that i got um because after i went to hive i then went on to the hyundai well no i came and checked in and then i went on to hyundai um it, south uh i've forgotten where it is for a second. I don't remember where it is. Um, anyway, south, south of the river, the Hyundai, which uh, is the fanciest mall I've ever been in. I went to go look at some clothing, looked at the price tag, and skedaddled out of there. Um, but, well not before going to the AT's pop-up um, for at &E's fourth anniversary. And I got a little Son photo card, which is adorable. Um, and I also got a little photo card holder and I also got a little son keychain because son is my bias if you can't tell <laughs> the pop-up was was really cute it was really it was dead quiet which is a shame and it's a bit of a sign of 80s being an international group rather than a local group I suppose but yeah it was kind of sad I mean it was the second last day and they'd sold out of the hoodie that I really wanted to but you know oh well um yeah and then at Hybe I got a little poster set that I will unbox when I am home because I don't want to damage it and some pins which I think were really cute and um yeah I also got a like special edition um photo card that you get just for being at the Hive exhibition and I think it's one of seven I think it's one of the members like signature because I think this side is the same for everyone but this I got Yoongi I got Suga um which is very cute <laughs> Anyway, and then I finished up the day by coming back to Myeongdong because um, Hyundai was not, was not the, was not, was, just wasn't, wasn't the day. Wasn't, <laughs> was not the, was not the mall. Um, because I had a few things I needed to buy and yeah, they were all just luxury brands and I don't have the money for that. So I came back and I found a H&M and I bought pretty much what I needed to. And then I went on a little wild goose chase to find some green tea. But unfortunately, all I can find is like rice green tea, which I don't like the taste or smell of. And I'm currently brewing it, but I haven't even tasted it properly yet, and I'm probably not going to drink it. Um, anyway, and then I tried to find some dinner, but because I'm quite literally delirious right now, that did not happen particularly well. And I gave up and I found a mac uh, Macca's because mm, home food on the first day, home food on the first day. We'll adventure a little bit more tomorrow once I've actually had more than four hours sleep. Anyway, good day. Um, we went to, started off uh, Incheon, we went to Hive Insight, then we uh, went to, we checked in, then we went to the Hyundai in uh, Yong, uh, Sedong, I think, I, I don't know, I can't remember where it is, South, and then we came back to Myeongdong, and now we are waiting for my washing to be finished in the laundry downstairs and going to bed. If you can't tell, my eyes are literally trying to close right now. Anyway, welcome to my, my hotel room. Um, it's very clean, but it's pretty small, but I mean, I don't need it for anything else, so yeah. All right. Annyeong.